for electric power and energy, all electrical appliances are usually marked with the correct power consumption and operating voltage. For example, a refrigerator has 220 W and 240 volts. You will recognize the V as the unit for volts and you should recognize the unit of W as the unit for power. Some recall, power is the rate of doing work which is the same as the rate at which energy changes from one form to another. The SI unit for power is Watt, W. One Watt means one joule of energy is converted in one second. If you look at your calculator right now, you can actually tell the power consumption of your calculator. It should be on the back casing. Let's just go through some of the previous formulas that we learned. Current is I equals to Q over T. The potential difference, V, is equals to work done, energy, divided by Q charge. Resistance is equals to V voltage divided by I current. Since work done is equals to V times Q and Q equals to I times T and work done is energy, we then have a new formula called E equals to VIT where E is the energy released, V is the potential difference, I is the current and T is the time taken. This formula can then be converted into two other sub-formulas given that you can include the formula V equals to IR into this formula, E equals to VIT. Therefore, you can form two other sub-formulas which is E equals to I squared RT and E equals to V squared divided by R times T. Next, we can calculate electrical power. Electrical power is the rate at which energy is released or dissipated since E equals to VIT and P equals to energy over time, E over T. Serving E into the equation, you should be able to get P equals to VI, where P is the electrical power, V is the potential difference, and I is the current. Using this formula, we can calculate again two more sub-formulas, which are P equals to I squared R and P equals to V squared over R. Other common units for power, we commonly use the milliwatt, the kilowatt, and the megawatt. Now let's try an example. An electric kettle which is connected to a 220 volt main supply draws a current of 10 amperes. Calculate the power of the kettle and the energy produced in 20 seconds. The solution for this question is, since P equals to VI, you should use the V equals to 220, and I is the current of 10 amperes which gets you 2,200 watts. The energy produced in 20 seconds would just be E equals to VIT, which is 220 times 10 times 20, and gets you 44,000 joules. Let's try our next example. A filament lamp is rated at 60 watts and 240 volts. Find the current flowing through the lamp, the resistance of the filament, and the energy produced by the lamp in one hour. The solution to this problem is, since P equals to VI, I equals to P over V, and therefore you can sub in the power of 60 and the voltage of 240, which gets you a current flowing through of 0.25 amperes. For the resistance of the filament, we can use the, the sub formula P equals to V squared over R. Changing the formula around, we should be able to get R equals to V squared divided by P. Subbing in you should get 240 squared divided by 60, giving you 960 ohms. For the energy produced by the lamp in one hour, we could use E equals to P times T, power times time. The power we know it to be 60 volts. However, the time taken, remember, you need to convert one hour into seconds, where seconds is, is the SI unit. Therefore, it should be 60 times 3600, which gets you 216000 juice.